guys welcome back to my channel um it's your girl marina here and as always it's a pleasure to welcome you to another video on my channel um if it's your first time here welcome my name is marina i am a nigerian canadian living out of saskatoon in canada and on this channel i make videos to make settling into life in canada seamless for newcomers and for entering professionals um so please hit the subscribe button there's something for you to learn here to returning subscribers thank you for always coming back thank you for clicking to watch this video you guys today's video is starting in the car again this is gonna be habit you guys know <laughs> i'm just sitting in the parking lot of a grocery store um mr etang who is my husband if you're new here and the kids have gone into the store to get some stuff I got tired of walking because we've been to a couple of other places already today. I got tired of walking, so I'm just sitting inside the car and waiting. My knee is still hurting, so I'm just sitting in the car to rest it for a bit. Hope you guys are fine. I'll catch you guys um, later on in the vlog, okay? I just came to open it. I'll show you guys as much as I can later on. So I'm back home now. Um, we are back home now, and I was just trying to arrange some things around my house. My house is in a mess. There are boxes everywhere. Let me show you guys what's going on. So I've been having a lot of things get delivered. So that's one batch or two batches of stuff that we got from Old Navy yesterday. I'm yet to sort them out. That's why they're there. This one is um, some eyeshadow palettes that I ordered from Morphe for myself and some other people. That's what I have going on there. Then let me show you guys the other set of boxes. Here we go. Back to school supplies for the children. Just basically stuff that I've been getting. My textbooks, my textbook for the new school year. And just other deliveries. So for back to school shopping this year, typically what I would do, especially for school supplies like the stationery and all those things, what I would do typically is print out the list of school supplies and go into the stores and just be taking them as I'm buying them. But this year, I decided to use an option that Staples has. Like when you go on their website, just search out the, the name of the school, the grade, and they have all of the essential um, school supplies on the website. So all you have to do is just check the boxes for what you need, add to cart, submit order, and they deliver it straight to your house. So that's what I did this year, and that's what those boxes are. It's a bit of a convenient way to do back to school shopping this year, and I like that. Your girl is hungry. I'm going to, I'm grilling some plantain. Why did this stop? Oh, I think I mistakenly paused this. Do you guys remember my alternate air fryer? This thing blows my mind every time. I think I mistakenly paused it. Can you hear? Yeah. You have to go close to here. This thing still blows my mind. I still have not been able to get over how noiseless this is. It blows my mind every time. I'm going to get some food now. And then after that, I'll come unbox something exciting that came in the mail. So this brand reached out to me um, a little while back and gave me the option to go on their website and pick one of their products. And you guys, I have never been more confused. To me, I just wanted to reply and say, you know, you can actually send me everything in all the colors, please and thank you. Because it was so hard to pick. Like, everything was so cute. Well, it's here now. Let's see. Let's see how I feel about this. The brand is called Teddy Blake New York. Can you guys already guess what it is? Of course, it is a handbag. So let's see what it looks like. Look at that. <gasps> oh my goodness, you guys. Oh my goodness. I absolutely love this. Oh, what do you guys think? I absolutely love it. Like, you guys, I don't know if this camera is doing this justice, but the feel the texture even the smell of this is just creamy luxury this is in the cape croco 12 inches in beige it is absolutely amazing i absolutely love this you guys i already know the friends are going to try to rob me but no this is absolutely off limits off limits you guys i absolutely love it it is so spacious this is so me i like structured bags so of course, this just totally screams me. If you know me, you know that things like this, I really, really, really like. If you have never heard of Teddy Blake, it's a premium leather quality um, bag maker. They um, specialize in like top quality luxury Italian leather bags for 
cheaper than what you would have gotten for luxury so it's like luxury that is affordable affordable you could just go on their website you would see different designs in different colors and if for some reason your dream design isn't there not to worry teddy blake releases new designs every month and you guys this totally screams luxury i love the attention to detail the finishing is clean really clean really neat like it's luxury that is affordable ladies ladies look listen to me this hustle that we're all hustling at some point you're going to need to find a way to splurge on yourself not just hustle and hustle and hustle and let other people enjoy the fruit of your labor sometimes go on the website add to cart and check out nobody's going to die so learn how to start to splurge on yourself this is premium luxury for less than what you would have paid for luxury so go ahead check out the description box for more information on the teddy blake website you guys go there and go and tell me what you think really just browse through the website check out and come and comment on this video and tell me what you think about this thank you so much teddy blake for sending this to me i absolutely love it for those of you who are looking for the gift to buy for me for my birthday look this is the month of august you will thought i'll not come and tell you abby my birthday month if you are looking for the birthday present to buy for me you guys look no for that just go on the on the website and if you want me to send you specific links to the one that's on my wish list i'm definitely going to send it to you side eye and coughing to mr etek <coughs> <laughs> mr etek may or may not be ignoring me right now because he can hear me but you guys really on a serious note though go check this out and come tell me what you think thank you again teddy blake for sending this to me i absolutely love it so you guys please check the description box for more information on the website and how you can order one of these luxurious babies for yourself but for now this one completely off limits friends and family take note <laughs>
I slept really late yesterday trying to edit the video that went up this morning. You guys would have seen it already. I was awake until almost 1 a.m. just editing that video, getting it ready um, for you guys to see this morning. So I just got out of bed. And again, I woke up because of hunger. I felt like, I feel like having pancakes and scrambled eggs. So that's what I'm doing right now. I have my pancakes in the pan. I've done like two batches already and I have the butter there that I'm frying. So, so that's what's going on here. Um, immediately after I do this, I'm going to go and follow service online. It doesn't look like we'll be able to do in-person church today because we have um we have something for later in the evening i'll share that with you guys um so i'm doing online today and then after that i'm going to go and get my nails fixed look at that the nails that i had since we went to regina also see look at that i have to go and fix what's going on here um if they're able to refill this i'll refill it or they'll remove it and do a new set in fact one of them got broken this is my thumb my right thumb got the nail they got broken so i'm going to go and get that fixed there's so many things happening around me and that's just reminding me to be intentional about taking care of myself to be intentional about spoiling myself and splurging on myself you know what let me remove this pancake from the fire i'll come back and juice it to you guys i have things to say Hey guys, so uh, breakfast is done now. I was saying something before I had to go. I was saying that I was going to go and get my nails done because I'm learning to prioritize my self-care, taking care of myself. I'm putting myself on my priority list. You guys, first off, this is the week of my birthday. My birthday is in a couple of days in less than a week. My children are helping me count down. <laughs> This year, I don't know how I'm feeling about my birthday. I'm just not as excited as I typically would be um, when it's approaching my birthday. It's my birthday. It's also my 11th wedding anniversary. Um, but this year, I don't know. Something just feels different. And I don't, I don't, I, I can't explain it. I was having a conversation with a friend of mine recently. We were born the same year, same month. Her birthday is 10 days before mine. We have been friends since like elementary school, like primary school. And we were just in about just random stuff and the conversation just now spiraled and we're talking about our childhood, friends that we had growing up. And the number of people that came up in that conversation that have now passed away amazed both of us. At some point we're like, wait, 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 have you noticed that we've talked about this person dead, this person dead, this person dead. And I'm talking about some of these people are in the same age range and they're all no more. And it just, I don't know, the realization of how fickle life is just really hit me. Like, it's amazing how somebody's here one minute, gone the next, and the rest of us just move on. Just move on like nothing has happened. Like, some days I stop and I catch myself feeling like, should I be this happy? My mom is not here. It's not supposed to be normal that she's not here. But that's how life is. Like, the, everybody else moves on. The realization is just somehow, like, it hit me in a way that I couldn't explain. And because of that thing, guys, it just put in perspective for me the need to prioritize, put, not not prioritize yourself to the point where you become selfish, but put yourself on your priority list. Especially as a mom, especially as a Nigerian living in the diaspora, you can very quickly get lost in that um, that, that frenzy of you have to work and pay bills here and then you have to be financially responsible for some people back home. You can just look at one whole year and realize you did not do one tangible thing for yourself. If I tell you now to come and buy a handbag, like that Teddy Blake handbag I showed you guys. Some of you, I'm sure you're going to check the price and say, ah, it's too much. Look, for me, eh, going forward, if I can afford it, I will buy because if somebody tells me somebody's in the hospital right now, share that money you say is too much to buy a bag for yourself, it suddenly will not be enough. Think about it, guys. Like, I don't know why I'm talking about this or who this is for. We have to start to put ourselves on our priority list. Men, women alike, especially you men. Some of you just hustle, pay bills, pay bills, not do anything for yourself. It's important too for you to put yourself or your priority list find that one thing that makes you happy that makes you glad and just do it even if it's once in two months do one tangible thing for yourself that's the message that i'm passing to all of you on that note i'm going to go take my bath i'm going to go get my nails done for me i'm prioritizing how i look physically because i'm meeting so many of you i can't afford to not be looking scruffy when i meet you <laughs> The pressure is a lot, man. <laughs> now, there are some things I want to wear. I'm like, I've worn this thing in three YouTube videos. Should I wear it? I'm like, God, which type of life is this? I bet I'll wear the cloth and me pay. When brands start to sponsor my wardrobe, we can do that. But right now, please, I'm not going to succumb to that pressure. If I want to wear it 10 times, I'll wear it. But there's that silent pressure, sir. When I go out now, I cannot just afford to just wear me smart slippers or wear any how thing because chances are I'm going to run into a subscriber. I don't want you guys to see me looking crazy. Anyway, I'm going to go and take my bath now. I'm going to get my nails done because 
it's important to me. That's how I want to feel today. I shall block you guys later. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Peace out. <laughs> yeah, really enjoy yourself. <laughs> I know this may seem brutal. Living in the gangster's paradise. Living in the gangster's paradise. So, welcome to the next day after the hangout at my friend's house. I didn't tell you guys much about that. It was just group of friends coming together to hang out at a friend's house um yeah today is monday i'm working i'm working right now but i took a quick break to um go for a physiotherapy appointment for those of you who have been here a while i mentioned that i i mentioned that i hurt my knee and i'm going to need physiotherapy i've been wearing a knee brace for a little while now so i'm finally going in i got an appointment with a physiotherapist and i'm going in to get it checked uh so yeah that's why i'm talking so fast because i have to get going now and uh yeah i'll see you guys when i get there as much as i can i'll take you guys along okay see ya hey guys uh so it's the next day after my doctor's appointment I am at the venue of my meet and greet. For those of you who signed up for the meet and greet, you would have gotten the email correspondence. Um, the date is August 27th. It's supposed to start at 2. Um, if you signed up, you would have gotten details about the venue and just things that you need to know. Unfortunately, I can't make that information public because the hall can only take so many people. That's why I shot the form off when we got a lot of people signed up so uh, if you're not able to make this one my apologies hopefully there'll be many others where i can get to meet you guys because it's always such a pleasure when i meet you guys so i'm just here at the venue now finalizing some last minute things just um arrangement i'm paying the balance that was left we had some brands partner with us and they have been very generous in the amount of money that was provided you guys i couldn't be more grateful the person that i'm waiting for just pulled up um in the car over there i'll finalize on this see you in a bit today has been a long day i feel as tired as i look can you guys tell i've yesterday evening i ended up sorting the boxes just opening what staples um delivered sorted them out i probably will just end this vlog here the next vlog you guys are going to see will most likely be my birthday vlog guys i have never been more clueless <laughs> i just noticed there's a lot of whispering going on around me my children are acting funny everybody's just acting funny around me see i just this way i just want a quiet day really i just want to eat cake and stay in bed finish that's all i want but it doesn't seem like that's what's going to happen so i'm going to end this and show you guys i don't know what's happening they carry me go where i don't know i'll come back and tell you people but <laughs> but i'm going to be ending this video here next one you see like i said will be my birthday vlog it's officially four days to my birthday i feel old I feel so old. I want to be 18 again where all I worried about was reading book. I don't want to be old. <laughs> but I feel old. But I feel loved. I just feel grateful. So I don't know what to expect. I would of course share with you guys whatever it is that happens. Okay. Thank you very much for watching this vlog guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a comment in the comment section. Like the video guys. That really helps the algorithm. So if you like the video, if you enjoyed watching the video, please like it okay that really helps well thank you very much for watching this video guys and until i come your way in the next one it is marina saying thank you and have an awesome day bye guys